John chapter 12 and verse 31, it says, Now this now is the judgment of this world. Does he mean the judgment of the end of the world? No. There's a judgment to, to, to take place in the world. Okay? That's what took place at the cross. There was a judgment rendered there. And he says, Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. That's, that's line that up here with Colossians chapter 2. In verse 15, having spoiled principalities and powers. When was that done? <laughs> At the cross. At the cross. All right, and then the final point is that, uh, and this is a glorious one, but I don't really have time to develop it like I should, but I'll just give it to you here. He has removed every accusation of Satan against his elect. Every accusation. You can find much in your own conscience to accuse you, but God doesn't accuse you. You can find much in this world. Uh, uh, people of this world point the finger at you and accuse you. But uh, because of the death of, the, of Christ, there is no condemnation. That doesn't mean we take it lightly, but it's a, it's a blessed assurance, you know.